Melbourne's west and southeast have copped the brunt of an afternoon of heavy rain. As Elizabeth Moss reports, the ceiling at a Point Cook shopping centre buckled under the weight of the water. A shopping centre shower <laughs> becomes a deluge. Shoppers scream as the ceiling at Sanctuary Lakes gives way to the storm above. <laughs> A wave of debris crashing to the floor. The heavens opened, it was throwing it down with rain. The noise was horrendous. It, it was a really loud bang. It was horrible, yeah. The ceiling came off and the water was fully inside the shopping centre. The water seeping in to nearby stores. So dangerous and unbelievable. Just down the road, a makeshift skylight at the BP and part of this car yard roof ripped off. From Laverton to Frankston, where shoppers at Karingal Hub had to be evacuated. <coughs> Severe storm warnings issued throughout the afternoon. Streets becoming rivers. This Point Cook Road disappearing in the deluge as winds of up to 150 kilometres ripped through. The SES has responded to more than 600 calls for help in the past 24 hours. This Hoppers Crossing home soaked. The family forced to move their furniture into the garage. In Altona, this backyard, now a swimming pool, with more where that came from. Lizzie, a thunderstorm warning is still in place. It is, Dougal. It's actually just passed through here where we are in Point Cook. You can probably see a little bit of that uh, rip rain rather forming a bit of a lake behind us in the car park here. It is expected to hit the city in the next couple of minutes. So damaging winds, heavy rain fall and the potential for some quite large hailstones there. We expect it is going to move throughout the east of the state, uh, hitting sort of Ringwood, Greensboro and Doncaster by around 6.45 tonight. So, Dougal, if you are not already at home, stay indoors get home rug up because it is going to be a long night good advice lizzie moss thank you